I said it was going to be a good year. And I still think it. I really do. Because I don't... I'm not the kind of person that's like, Oh my God, this year sucks! Blah, blah, blah. You know, life is life. But, um... I remember... When I was... This... You know, little kid. Probably... Seven, six... You know, looking at going to the video store, looking at videotape, and looking at a movie uh, called Peter Bogdanovich's Mask. This was not the movie that, you know, it's one of those movies that really, it is an inspiration. Just how he filmed it and, you know, putting just, class, like really just putting music over the film than a score which is cool and uh you know just not not just mask you know uh one of the greatest films ever made in my opinion last picture show what's up doc targets voy the his first film voy he, he you know, um, noise is off. Illegally yours, which he he hated, uh, but I uh, actually liked. Uh, Nick, did I just say? Did I say Nickelodeon? The cat's meow. He was a great documentary director with running, you know, running down dream, which is sad because. Tom Petty, and now him. He did a really good episode for The Sopranos. He was in The Sopranos as a CIA agent. Um, uh, he's my favorite director of all time. He's, you know, there's a list. There's... Ron Howard, if I could pick like a list, he, which I I need to do one day, maybe today. Ron Howard, John Hughes, um, it was, it's a list of them. Rob Reiner is one of them, and uh, above them all. I mean, there's Friedkin, you know, just above them all, Peter Bogdanovich. He was always my favorite director because he put, you know, so much into a film. He didn't, you know, get along with Cher uh, on set of Mask, but they, they literally worked it out. And I think, you know, wonderful. It is sun's glaring. It's snow. Thank God the sun's out, though. Melting the friggin' snow, hopefully. But, um... Yeah, I just... I'm gonna miss... I'm really gonna miss Peter Bogdanovich. I am gonna miss him. You know, the distinctive look with the ascot. He always had this ascot. Uh, they kind of... They've said like he was like the OG Tarantino. Um, he directed one of River Phoenix's last films, and I think they didn't get along because uh, he knew something was going on. And uh, so, yeah, he did that, uh, which I also had Sandra Bullock, Kate T. Osland in it. Um, Always the best ones. First was, there was, you know, Sidney Pollock. Um, Sidney Lumet. How many is gone now? Did Benj did Richard Benjamin, I don't, who's the other, um, Arthur Hiller is gone. 
a lot of my childhood, you know, filmmaking, like a lot of my f favorite filmmakers are all gone now. Tony Scott. It's just, it's sad. It's, it's really, um, it's one of those things that, you don't know what's, that's why whenever you, you see a real, like a new Steven Spielberg movie, I don't want to jinx anything, but I get more excited because I'm like, come on, keep on just doing them, doing them, doing them. Um, same with Marty. And same with, uh, I don't want to jinx anything, but even same with Eastwood. If, you know, just keep on making them, keep on making them. And uh, his last film was, I think Owen Wilson was in it. I think it was one of Jack Nicholson's last. I think that was the one where the, um, that... There's an image and poots in it, but um, I think that was the last. That was the last film. It was in two twenty fourteen. That was the last film, and it did not seem like a Bogdanovich film. It was very. It was like when Ron Howard did uh, the the dilemma, which is a good movie. It's just because you got Clint in there, it's like okay, now I know it's a it's a Ron movie, but um. Yeah, it's just, it's, you know, I guess that's life. Gonna miss you, Peter. You've been one of my heroes. You will forever be one of my heroes. You know, Rich Donner's gone. A lot of my favorites are gone. But, uh, you know, you're up there now um, making masterpieces for the, for the angels. <laughs> R.I.P.